the woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. <laughs> No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, your mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger.
place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Nice village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me? Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the Ladies of the Wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your question to the ladies, and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Velen. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once, a swineherd lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. Paint this evil light. It's you, I swallow a cold. Who will protect us poor from the cutthroats? Who, I ask?
Show yourself. I want to talk. Place of power should draw from it. Be gone. Be gone. 